What's up guys, welcome back to 4x4 Jumpman. Today we're going to talk about tub setup, tub rack, tub canopy and camper trailers. So pretty much this is how I load my tub. I put everything in the back and I've also got a cargo net to stop things from falling around. Because I don't have a tonu cover or a roller shutter, I just use a tarp so that my things doesn't get wet when it starts raining. I also use heavy duty storage boxes so that it's waterproof whenever I'm loading it up it doesn't get wet. So let's talk about tub rack versus canopy. Which one would you get and which one would you prefer? So having a tub rack you can do a whole setup from $500 to $2,000. It's a very budget friendly option and you can put so much accessories on the tub rack. You can even put a rooftop tent and also accessories on the sides. Yakima and Rhino Rack has a clamp mount rack which can easily be removed anytime. The cons about having a tub rack is that it's not water sealed and you can't haul big items such as dirt bikes and other big items depending on the height of your rack. So the next one I'll be talking about is a tub canopy and this canopy is inserted on top of your old tub and it's a lot budget friendly than a tray canopy. So the good thing about having a tub canopy it's budget friendly and it's good for touring. You can add 12 volt setup, a fridge with slides and drawers, and it only costs around five to eight thousand dollars. It also can be sealed and waterproof. You can also install a rooftop tent, as long as the canopy has a heavy duty roof. So the cons for having a tub canopy, there's no room to hold big bikes or motorbikes in the tub and you cannot put any big items on the open tub anymore. What do you guys think? Comment below if you prefer to get a tub canopy. So a tray canopy is very good but expensive option. It goes from around $10,000 to $30,000. You can do a 12 volt setup, a kitchen setup and drawers for touring. And the pros are it's easy camp setup. You can put a rooftop tent, can be removed to just a uh, tray to haul bikes and big items. So a lot of people get this type of option because it looks good and it's very easy for camping. You can add mad LED lights, you can put like speakers, you can put really cool rooftop tent and so many things to do on a canopy. You can deck it out with aluminium or wood grain like this setup and it looks so damn good. So the cons about having a canopy, it's really heavy, it's very expensive and if you're not using it daily, you can, you're going to have to remove it. So you can do setups like having half canopy and half tray, like these on the videos. With having the open tray, you can put the tires at the back as well as the fuel container and it has more room to put other things in. So there's plenty of canopy builders out there and there's names such as Mitz Alloy, G-Works and MW. Comment below on why you would prefer a tray canopy and would you get a tray canopy? So Patriot campers are behind me and they've got their Patriot campers and they're all the trailers and all the caravans that they have. So the last thing I'm going to talk about is camper trailers and how convenient they are. Although this is another expensive option, you can park it in the garage when you're not using it. Patriot has really good camper trailers and they use quality products and it's 
good quality and it can stand off-roading they are so light and so capable in off-roading especially when you're towing it with your four-wheel drive so if you do get a camper trailer it's a expensive option it can go from fifteen thousand to fifty thousand dollars although you have the 12 volt setup kitchen and drawers you also got bedding and dining setup the pros about it is that it can be detached and towed easy to camp setup and it can be kept in garage when not in use the only thing about it is that it's expensive and it can be difficult to tow in sand and off-road tracks at times so patriot uses the dometic fridge it's even got a weber on the back that fits so we've got maverick campers just right behind me we'll go check out one of their camper vans so maverick is another camper trailer brand and it's made in australia and it's been seen in four wheel drive 24 7 and they use this when they're going on off-roading and it hits the hard tracks and even under the water it's fully waterproof so this one has the outdoor kitchen it's got the stove it's got the sink and it's pretty much easy to set up and the viper 16 x club is pretty big and it's got dining room inside and it's even got a toilet inside and shower i really like the led light that says maverick it's a nice feature when you walk in this one has a nice dining table and the bedding is pretty big the height of the roof is pretty high because i'm six foot this one has tons of space and then you've got drawers on the side and i can even see the toilet right there with the shower and sink and on the kitchen it's got a nice touch and finish that nice timber and gloss look comment below if you prefer a camper trailer there you have it guys tab rack versus canopy versus camper trailer which one do you prefer and which one would you get if you like this video please like and subscribe to 4x4 Jumpman and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.